Matt Mizeki here from Verity Baptist Church Manila providing you with a missionary update. And so we officially moved into our new building yesterday. We had our first services there. And so our report for our salvations from February 10th, which was a Sunday, through February 17th, which is a Sunday, was 107 salvations. We included two Sundays because we kind of changed our Sunday soul winning. And now that we have a building, we're doing soul winning for a couple hours after lunch, and then we're meeting back up at the building. And so there's many reasons why. One reason is we can gather the results, rejoice together in fellowship, and also because we're gonna really um, strive to get people baptized the same day if possible. And so with our soul winning there and many people getting saved and being nearby, that could be a possibility. So we're gonna do, we're planning on doing that. And so that's why we have two Sundays listed there at 107 Salvations. And it was a big day yesterday. It was an awesome day with soul winning. Lots of people got saved. And, you know, honestly, we've been super busy just getting moved into the building. And I think we have about one more really hectic week as we still have some stuff to get settled and figured out. But, um, you know, still God's blessing. Lots of people saved. And in church, we had 62 people for our first service in Pasig yesterday. And so that absolutely blew us away. We have 60 chairs and we had 62 people. So you do the math there. So our previous high outside of the missions trip was 42. The reason why we had 62 was a few different reasons. One reason is because of the fact a lot of people were, were um, you know, kind of curious that are nearby in our area. We made an effort to, to invite people to a special first day and gave them a free gift, you know, Psychopath Reprobates DVD. But we've handed out a lot of special invitations that one of our church members made. And so, um, you know, we invited a lot of people and honestly, a lot of them showed up. And, you know, I wasn't sure if anyone would show up as a result of them, but I figured it was worth a shot. You know, we're trying something new and we'll see how it works. Obviously, this is a different country, different battlefield. Things might work a little bit differently. Honestly, that kind of tied into my Wednesday night sermon when the main focus was bringing visitors to church, which I preached from John 4 and I talked about the woman at the well and how she was able to bring people to Jesus Christ. And, you know, I mentioned in that sermon that we're going to try a lot of things to get people in church and get them to stick around. And I said, you know, honestly, if, if they're not successful, it's not a failure because of the fact, you know, you could have nine unsuccessful things and one successful thing, and we can just stick with the thing that's successful. And so it's worth giving it a shot, even if we fail sometimes trying something new. You're going to fail when you step out on the water. And so we're going to try various different things. And, you know, at least for the first service, it worked very well. So I think we're going to, in the future, maybe push, you know, special days, big days, things like that, to try to get a lot of people in the community to come to church. And, you know, at the very least, we want to invite everyone around the area of our church quite a bit because we want to grow from the local area. So that's what I preached on on Wednesday night. 62 people in church yesterday on Sunday. So in the morning service, I preached um, the second part of a three-part series on Noah's flood, and I talked about God's destruction. So we actually talked about the destruction that God caused. One thing that's interesting in Genesis 6 and 7, which I started the sermon with, was the Bible gives an extremely in-depth explanation of salvation in Genesis 6 and 7. And that's not something I've always noticed before, but I was really paying attention as I was preparing the sermons and really even learning more than I already knew about that. And so if you want to check out the first 10 minutes, we'll probably make a clip of that. Um, the sermons aren't posted yet. We'll get them posted, though. I'll probably make a clip of that where the Bible actually explains very in-depth that salvation is only through Jesus Christ and that you're eternally secure and it's, it's very easy. It's just believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You can find that in Genesis 6 and 7. So we'll upload a clip of that. Then we'll link it below once it's up, so check that out. And then I preached on uh, the third of a five-part series on, you know, doubts, you know, a dissolver of doubts, and I talked about the doubts of the Christians. And so we talked about a lot of the doubts that Christians have, that believers have. Next week, we'll focus on the doubts of the family, and then we're going to focus on, you know, how we can actually be a person who gets rid of doubts and dissolves doubts like Daniel did, the Bible says. And so that's what the sermons were about, and uh, things are going great. Um, you know, we had a big day, and... You know, some of the reasons why we had 62 people in church, like I said, we invited a lot of people from the local community, and we hope that they'll come back. Um, I know a lot of them like the service. They at least, at least heard the gospel, and so we'll see about that, but we're, we're striving to reach our local area. One thing we liked is that a lot of people that were there for church, um, they weren't people that are, like, in this movement the last several years. You know, we started the church with a healthy group of people that already love the Lord and listen to a lot of sermons online, but our goal was to reach new people in the area. And we had a lot of people in church yesterday that know nothing. They don't even know who Pastor Anderson is. They don't know who Pastor Herman is. is. And so it was great to reach, you know, a, a new segment of people. Now, obviously, you know, it will take work to get them to eventually become soul winners and stick around. But they're liking the services now. We're going to do everything we can to reach a new group of people. And so I don't necessarily expect we're going to have 62 next Sunday because I think a lot of people are interested to just check it out for the first time. 
But, um, you know, I do believe that God has blessed us with a building and a location where we can reach the local area. A couple other things that were great. Um, well, also to mention about why it was a big day, you know, some people that were not able to come to church before, the new location is a little bit more convenient for them. Because not only does it take like an hour and a half for some of these people to get to church, but, you know, you got several jipney rides and you got, you know, four different rides. You got to get off and get on, get off and get on. That's not that easy when you have kids. It's not that easy, you know, depending on your health and things like that. So this new location is closer to some people. Now, for some people, it's further away. But honestly, God really opened up a door that's going to make it convenient for a lot of people that are far away as well in terms of having a big vehicle that some of the families can use. And so that's exciting. One of the other things that was exciting was we found out um, near our building there is a mini Resolve Park. And it's actually better than Resolve Park because of the fact, you know, the people that are at that park actually live nearby. So we've been getting a lot of people saved that live in hours away from our church building when we were in Manila. But now that we're in Pasig, which is still in Metro Manila, the people in that park that were getting saved, they actually live nearby. No one's going to travel a couple hours just to hang out at that park like they would for a resort park. And so the great thing is, you know, there's lots of people there and we can, you know, be getting people saved and preaching the gospel to people that are nearby. And so we'll probably on Sundays mix it up and do about half in the park and half door to door and reach everyone. And we also found a nice map that we're going to have a nice printed off copy. We're going to put on the wall of all the houses and we can just slowly knock all the doors. And so it was a big success. You know, things went well and we're excited and um, continue to pray for our ministry. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Thank you and God bless.